Hi everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House. And today we talk about Google Ad Scripts and we're going to create a script that is going to take data from Google Sheets, um, negative keywords exactly, and apply all negative keywords on a campaign level and then we will redo this script and apply all these keywords on an ad group level. Please don't be very hard on me because Google Ad Scripts is not something that I do every day. I much more prefer to work with a Python and I do a lot of automation in Python for Google and for Apple search ads. And if you actually wanted to see anything in Python more than Google Scripts or just want to see them, just leave some comments below, give me, give me your opinion and then we will see what's going on. So let's start. Today I'm going to use a Sublime Editor as always and I really, really, really uh, suggest you to use the Sublime Editor. It's very, very comfortable to do. This is a new file with some function here that I'm going to show you in the comments in the descriptions below. You can, you can just copy this function, use it. This function actually loads data from the spreadsheet. That is what we're going to use. And I also have an account here. I need to close this uh, with the test campaigns here. So we go to tools and settings. We go to, go to scripts and we create a new script here. There's going to be negative applier live and it takes some time to load the, the new script, it always takes time. I don't know why Google is so slow lately. Okay, negatives applier life. And the main function is very important. I'm going to copy it here. And what this function actually do, it creates for us an array. Array is just a list of the objects inside or elements. Then we say, okay, I wanted to load in this variable, the spreadsheet with this URL that is going to be given from outside. Let's just do that. So I go to function main. First, I create the variable URL and it equals to nothing. And then I also create a sheet name that is also going to equal to not nothing. Go to my browser and I do sheets.new that is going to create my new Google sheet. I will give it a name, mm, negatives, negatives applier, to live because the first video was really bad. Then I'm going to create the negatives I wanted to add to all my campaigns. First is going to be BMW in exact, and then I'm going to create, um, let's make it just, I don't know, the broad, free, broad, cheap, and broad used, because we don't sell used, why not? That makes sense. And I'm going to rename this to my negatives and I'm going to copy this name of this tab because the, the whole sheet can have a lot of different tabs, but we're going to work only with one that have the name new negatives. I put the name here and I put the URL here. Now I have two variables with a URL address and a sheet name, and I'm going to call this function load spreadsheet. So it takes these two variables to load something. URL here, sheet name here and let's say result in some other variable. So the function will finish some work and put the result in the result variable. That makes sense. So come back to our function. It opens the spreadsheet here, then get the sheet by name. So we're going to find the tab in the whole document that have this name. In other words, my negatives over here. And then we're going to find how many rows in this file in the first column. And then we're going to get all these rows in our data array. And for each row, we're going to take the data from it and push it to result data. This is the local variable here. Then we'll logger.log, so that will push the data of this array into console. We'll see what's, what's, what was written. And we're going to return this to our result variable here. So let's see how it works. We copy this. We go to our scripts, we save it, and then we need to give authorization. Probably will ask us several times to authorize something because authorization is really, really messy. Okay, preview, nothing happened. Thank you, Google. Let's go back to scripts, back to test two, sorry, back to live. Preview, okay, authorize, come on, why it's so difficult all the time? 
I don't want to cut this part because, I mean, a lot of people experience this problem with authorization, like a lot of. Let's go to logs. Okay, you see, we have an array. We have the first element in exact BMW, then the free, cheap and used. So these square brackets at the very end means that's array, but these square brackets inside is a part of our keyword. So that actually perfect, exactly what we want. Now we wanted to write a function that is going to apply the negatives. So function apply negatives is going to take negatives as an input. And then we need to, first we need to get the iterator. The iterator is something that it contains information about the campaigns that actually suits us, suit our purpose. So campaign iterator equals adds app dot campaigns. Then we wanted to filter them. For example, with condition name contains, sorry, we need to use different quotes. So if you use the big uh, double quotes at the end, you need to use a single quote inside, or we can do it um, differently. For example, like that, we can use single outside and then double inside. So Mercedes, if my campaign can, contains Mercedes, I want you to get it. So get is a function with condition is a parameter. This is how it actually works. And then if there is something, so while campaign iterator, ooh, my spelling is awful today, has next, do this code. Sorry. So we wanted to load the campaign actually. Campaign equals campaign.iterator.next. And then for each element, so for each negative we have, for index negative equals zero index negative is less than negatives dot length index negative plus plus so go through all of them and then campaign dot this this probably will have difficulty to spell it from first time so I will also put it in the description create negative keyword and then I just give negatives negative index so this will go, index will go through all the negatives we have in an array and it will return the index of this, uh, of each element, like the position, the address, like the flat number in the big uh, apartment complex. And then it will create a negative for a campaign of each of the negatives we have there. And I think that's all we need to do. Let's just go there and test it. It will ask us authorize it again, I hope. Okay, we have uh, a mistake level 11. We have one more dot here. Okay, save. Preview. Now we change something, that, so we will expect something to change. Nothing changes, and that's because I never call this function actually. So apply negatives, and the result actually contains the data from the row spreadsheet that is actually my negatives let's rename it my negatives and because this function never returns anything I don't save the result anywhere so let's run it again okay you see now we have a campaign that have new negatives inside and if you wanted to make it add groups instead of negatives instead of campaigns that totally makes sense it would be add group here and I don't have uh, this condition working, so I don't remember the name of my ad groups. So let's just save this and also run the preview. Okay, now I have campaign and ad group here and the ad groups actually have a lot of new changes here because I have two ad groups in my account. I see that each ad group was added twice. 
The beautiful of this code, it's very easy to maintain and change because here you have the address, here you have the sheet name, you can always go there, just go here, change it and apply it. And if you work with your client or it's your own business, it's very, very fast to apply new negatives at cross campaigns or ad groups that contains specific name in it. So that's why campaign naming is actually very, very important. And it's also very easy to change. If you put here ad groups, it will give you Ad group iterator, we should, by the way, rename this in this case, but just for like example purposes, it will input you the ad group variable, uh, ad group iterator. You can iterate through ad group, you can add the create negative on ad group level, and it also will work. So that's all I wanted to, sh to show you, folks. You just save this, we already saved it, and you can run whatever you want. Thank you very much, see you, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to let me know what exactly is your problem, what do you want to change in Google Ads, what makes it so difficult to maintain, tell me about that and I will try to find a script or solution for you to make it as easy and as fast as possible. See you and bye bye!